all right folks what is good back with another video not up in the studio today uh been downstairs you know with the family or whatever chilling out with them watching the football game on my ipad and uh man this cincinnati titans game this Bengals titans game i i, I let me tell you something. i knew from the beginning i knew from the beginning something just told me from the beginning that the Bengals were going to win this game um, there's just nothing about the Titans really showed me that they were going to um, that that they was going to take over this game and win it. It just I mean from day one. I mean, and I, I started watching the game probably like in the middle of the first quarter because you know I, I got off work late or whatever. But as soon as I cut on the game and I was watching what was going on and I saw the game was like nine to six, I was like, all right, you're the number one seed. You're supposed to be the team that has the defense. Um, Joe Burrow and company are a young team, a young hungry team. Y'all should be dominating this game for the fact that y'all didn't have, um, a command, a, a commanding control of this game made me think like, all right, something, something's not right here. I got a feeling that something's going to go crazy and the Titans going to lose this game. Now, Tannehill threw some awful and he threw some good ones. But he threw some awful, awful interceptions. And I'm looking like, man, yeah, they were tipped, but the, the passes shouldn't have never been made. And I was like, oh, my God, this is this is the reason why the Titans is, is not going to get out of their way. Now, the Titans have everything you need. They got a good front seven. They got a decent secondary. They got the running game, and they got the receivers. I don't care what anybody says. T Tannehill is not that guy, and I'm tired of all these people who are sitting here trying to compare him to Matt Ryan and, and all these other quarterbacks that are really good, and I said Matt Ryan because I'm a Falcons fan, but you see all these other quarterbacks that are out here, if they were in the position Ryan Tannehill was in, it would be very difficult to stop this team. Now, I will say with the running game, coaching decision, I don't know what the coach was thinking. Why would you get away from Dante Foreman? And Foreman was a Falcon, and then you see what, what I was thinking when he was signed. I thought he could have been something for the Falcons. He played phenomenal this game. They went right back to Derrick Henry, and Derrick Henry did not look himself. He like he was scared to run sometimes. He looked like he was timid. He did not really want to get hit. He just seemed like he did, he, he did not want it. It didn't seem like he was ready to go to the next round. Now, A.J. Brown, like I said, Tannehill threw some nice passes to A.J. Brown. Now, there was one when one of the receivers fell or whatever. You know, it happens. I mean, whatever. But that touchdown throw was amazing. It looked really good. And I was like, okay, this is the Tannehill people were talking about. But then again, you saw the other Tannehill that people were talking about. It was just ridiculous. Now, you turn back around and you see um, Julio Jones. I'm going to get to the Bengals in a second. But you look at Julio Jones, and I'm like, bro, who, where, where is he? He had a couple of catches late. But when you look at what they gave up for Julio Jones, and whatever the case may be, my Falcons won that trade. And it's not even close. And, and, and people would say, oh, well, Julio's on a winning team, and they're, gonna, they're the number one seed. He didn't contribute to that. Look, the Titans would have probably still been in the same position without him. There's a big argument to be made that the Titans would have still been the number one seed and probably would have been in the same predicament they're in today if it wasn't for Julio Jones. So they gave him a first-round pick to be in the same position that they're in. So y'all can miss me with that. Falcons got a second-round pick. Well, now what we need to do is a wholly different, totally different story. I don't need to get into that today. But that was a horrible trade at the end of the day, and they got to pay a salary. Awesome, awesome. Now, let's look at these Bengals. Joe Burrow cannot get protection to save his life. His protection was awful. It was terrible. Um, he got sacked like eight, nine times. He did manage to throw for over 300 yards. No touchdowns, one interception, which that interception was kind of iffy. Kind of iffy, but he did throw interception at the end of the day. And um, it... <laughs> Even with the interception, it just seemed like he was more in control. Even with the pass rush, it just seemed like he was more in control of trying to win the game instead of being the reason why they lose. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, a couple of those sacks he shouldn't have taken. He should have threw the ball away. But when you really watch, it just seemed like Joe Burrow was trying his best not to be the reason why they lose. <clears throat> Flip side real quick to um, Tannehill. And I'm going to go back to the Bengals in a second. Tannehill seemed like he wanted to be the reason why they won and failed to do so. He wanted to be the guy to say, oh, they won because of my arm. No, you do interceptions because of your arm. But nevertheless, you look at the rest of the Bengals, the defense played okay. They did their best to try to stop what they could, and they got stops at the right time. Yeah, A.J. Brown got some great catches. Julio Jones had a catch here and there. Um, Dante Foreman ran roughshod on them. But when it mattered, they found a way to get stops. The fourth and one stop, the, the two-point conversion stop, you know, all this other stuff that they were able to stop at the right time to cause a punt or whatever the case may be. And talking about punts, when the when the Bengals had the punt, every time that receiver or that return guy caught the ball for the Titans, somebody was in his face immediately. So that that made a big deal. Now, if you flip that, the Bengals got some good return yards every time they was on special teams. So when you look at everything that's happened, the Bengals did everything they could not to lose this game. And, you know, they and to be honest, and in some cases, they didn't even try to win the game. They just played as safe as possible so they won't be the reason why they lost this game. This is one of those situations where when you're playing not to lose, actually worked. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like that's what the Bengals did. They played not to lose, and it actually worked. And this is the flip side of that. This is a situation where the Titans tried to play to win, and it didn't work. So I, that's just about two. That's my quick reaction. I guess to say it's quick. It's almost seven minutes now. That's my reaction to the the uh, Bengals Titans game. Seem like that um, the Bengals are trying to trying to prove a point. Look, I will say this really quick. If the game, if the game is in Kansas City. For the AFC Championship game. Yeah, I know you got Mahomes. But the game is an AF, in, in the AFC Championship game is in Kansas City. It might not be a cakewalk for Kansas City. Now, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not saying that Kansas City, I ain't going to say the Bengals are going to beat them or whatever. But I don't think it's going to be easy, no stretch, uh, by the stretch of the imagination. The Bengals going to try to give them everything they got. And they got, the, they got the team to do so. So we'll see how that plays out. If they, you know, if they go to Buffalo, then I mean, I, I, I see Buffalo probably beating them pretty well, um, unless, unless if the Bengals could run the ball, then it'd be a puncher's chance. But um, I, I see the Bengals losing to the Bills in Buffalo. They got a better shot in Kansas City, in my opinion. But we'll talk about that later on. There's another game about to play um, later on. Uh, I think it's about to start in a little bit. Yeah, it starts a little bit. I'm going to go watch that. I have a reaction to that as well. Um, that's going to be pretty much it for me. I'll see y'all guys on the next one. Um, thank you for watching on the First and Frame Race channel. If you like what you see, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, I'm out of here. All right, y'all. Peace.